drug problem in Singapore is steadily rising. The data presents an unsettling image. During the previous 10 years, Singapore has seen a consistent increase in the number of people detained for drug-related offenses. While Singapore is regarded for vigorously enforcing drug regulations, there are troubling patterns below the surface issue. The essential question is, why is this problem rising so rapidly? In this video, let's take a look at the severity of the drug problem in Singapore, identify the aspects contributing to it, its implications, and propose several strategies to solve this developing worry. Before we get started with the chapters of this video, what do you believe are the key reasons for the drug problem in Singapore? Let us know with some facts. For a long time now, Singapore has been very strict when it comes to drugs. Singapore has harsh punishments for anyone caught with illegal drugs. The Misuse of Drugs Act, which was introduced way back in 1973, allows for the most severe penalties, like death sentence, for trafficking certain amounts of drugs. The Central Narcotics Bureau, or CNB, is accountable for two things. One, educating the public about the dangers of drugs. Two, strictly enforcing Singapore's tough anti-drug laws. However, the drug scene has changed. Addiction to heroin was the biggest issue in the 1970s. However, the misuse of inhalants as a way to get high became popular as the 1980s approached. By the 1990s and 2000s, synthetic drugs like ecstasy and ice had made a slow but steady ascent to prominence. The list of substances being misused in Singapore is scary. Cannabis, cocaine, heroin, ketamine, LSD. These drugs are all part of the problem. Even cough syrup has also turned into a drug addiction, proving the extent people would go to in order to achieve a rush. In a 2022 survey, they discovered about 0.7% of people living in Singapore had used an illegal drug at least once in the past year. That may not sound like a lot, but it's pretty much a problem. The most popular drug? You guessed it, cannabis. After that, it was ecstasy and methamphetamines. Singapore's drug crisis has escalated beyond a localized issue. It now permeates all segments of society like an invasive weed strangling a garden. The official data unveiled in February 2024 exposed the alarming 10% upswing in drug abuser arrests from the prior year, skyrocketing to a staggering 3,101 cases in 2023 compared to 2,826 in 2022. However, the statistic demanding utmost attention is that nearly one-third of those apprehended were fresh-faced individuals under 30 years old. A total of 850 bright young minds and futures, now potentially dimmed by the haze of addiction. And this is spreading faster among the young, with an 8% spike in abusers below 20 in 129 cases in 2023, up from 119 the year before. New abusers initiating into the drug scene spiked 18% to 944 cases, up from 802 in 2022. Not even women have been spared, with recent data showing a concerning uptick in illegal substance use among females as societal roles evolve. Adding fuel to these already out-of-control flames are the online drug markets and emergence of new psychoactive substances, or NPS. The Central Narcotics Bureau reports a surge in seizures of these NPS drugs with unknown compositions and potency. Singapore's drug crisis is being stoked by a perfect storm of societal factors acting as combustible fuels. One of the primary accelerants is the anonymity of the dark web, which allows seamless purchase and sale of illicit substances without the slightest whiff of accountability. With a few clicks, one can score their vice as easily as ordering a pizza delivery. Adding gasoline to this fire is popular media's tendency to glamorize and normalize drug use. When celebrities flagrantly indulge with minimal repercussions, it sends a dangerous message to impressionable youth that such behavior is acceptable, even desirable. The glorification of the high life is akin to fanning the flame. On Singapore's doorstep, the rising urban populations of developing nations, like Indonesia, Malaysia, and Myanmar, are expected to trigger a regional surge in demand. Simple economics dictates that as cravings grow, so too will supply channels and production. 
potentially inundating communities with a tidal wave of cheaper, more potent drug varieties. Exacerbating the crisis are the unique vulnerabilities faced by women in modern Singaporean society. As gender norms evolve and barriers dissolve, the immense pressure to excel across multiple fronts is driving some to succumb to the numbing allure of intoxicants. In a previous video, The Secret Cons of Living in Singapore, we talked in detail about the stress and workaholic culture in the country. Work fatigue, emotional turmoil, traumatic experiences all forge pathways to self-medication through substance abuse when healthy coping outlets are lacking. Despite harsh laws, addictions persist, fueled by the need to escape Singapore's unrelenting societal demands. For others, the thrill of rebelling against authority or experiencing altered states is incentive enough. Singapore's war on drugs has drawn global criticism. With the resumed use of capital punishment in March 2022 after pandemic-induced hiatus, a total of 11 executions by hanging occurred that year. And at least 16 more people had faced the noose as of November 2023 according to Human Rights Watch reports. Among them was Sari Dewi Jamani, a Singaporean woman convicted of drug trafficking in 2018, the first female execution for drug offenses in the nation for nearly two decades. But the consequences of rampant substance abuse extend far beyond such ultimate legal punishments. From a health perspective, the devastation is all-encompassing. Addiction, overdoses, organ failures, cognitive impairment, and heightened risks of infectious nightmares like HIV and hepatitis. On the social front, drug abuse leaves a trail of shattered lives and broken families in its wake. Domestic violence festers, while desperate individuals fund their vices through criminal enterprises that steadily erode community safety and security. From immense healthcare costs for treating drug-related illnesses and injuries to the financial burdens of policing operations and mass incarceration, Singapore's resources are being drained at an unsustainable rate because of drug abuse. Compound this with losses from absenteeism, plunging productivity, and sputtering economic output, and the cycle becomes apparent. Unchecked, this crisis threatens to derail the nation's growth and development indefinitely. Singapore's expanding drug problem requires an extensive plan for addressing it. Strict enforcement needs to be combined with options for treatment that are easily accessible, preventive education, and the encouragement of good coping strategies. Campaigns must target vulnerable populations, such as teenagers and low-income neighborhoods, and provide them with life skills beyond only emphasizing the risks associated with drugs. Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content.